Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. As you can see behind me, base camp isn't as full as it was. Some people have already left. The RTR is uh, really close by, so some have already went towards that area, and um, some have stayed here. I'm actually getting ready to leave today because I want to go visit a cool place that I saw on the way here while heading back to Yuma because I got to pick up something there at Yuma and then go back to Quartzsite. Good morning. Good morning. As you can see, there's not as many people here anymore. What do you advertise? No salt. <laughs> no salt is what it's called? No salt. <laughs> Boy, it's clearing out here. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Everybody's, uh, there are a few people headed to, um, to do different things before going to Quartzsite and then I'm yeah. gonna be leaving today to go to the sand dunes because I think I'm gonna try to camp out there and see what's going on. At the uh, Sand Glamis? No, no, no. You know, on the way here, there was yeah. this huge sand dunes. Yeah. So I, and I, out there I thought it was pretty cool. So I want to yeah. go see what's going on there. Right. And I saw some um, RVs, so hopefully they allow overnighting because that'd be kind of. There's a bunch of BLM land over there. Yeah. Did yeah. Mike let leave? Mike left. He had no water. Uh, okay, and I forgot but I, to get water yesterday too. Uh, so. Yeah. What are you planning? Are you going to stay around for a little bit? Or no, are you I don't think so. All right, everybody. Well, it's time to get on the road. Onward bound. bound. the hot springs because Willow wanted to clean up and take a shower real quick and then jump into the hot springs before we go to the sand dunes so that's what we're doing here I'm actually not going to um, I'm going to fix me some lunch and then I guess we'll get back on the road so yes definitely trying to eat healthy I made me a salad this is arugula and spinach with carrots tomatoes flaxseed parsley garlic um, some cheese, yeah. Mmm, so good. I got some fruit too. almost finished with my lunch. I just fed Moo Moo. I've got to look up my destination on Google Maps and then I'll be ready to go. So my last video was of the Holtzville Hot Springs and there's actually um, pictures on there if you wanted to see what the hot springs actually looked like. I couldn't film there because there was people and I didn't want to invade anybody's privacy. But yeah, um, you could just go to the website or actually I'll put a link to the video here and I did put a drop pin to the Holtzville and you can just check out the, um, the drop pin and the location on Google Maps and see all the pictures if you wanted to do that. So the place that we are headed to is called Buttercup Sand Dunes, I believe that's the name, and I will put a link in the description below, so check that out if you're interested, and it will lead to Google Maps. But yeah, time to get on the road.
as you can see the sand dunes behind me I think there's some ATVs up there but I did see a sign saying something about permits so I'm not sure if this place is free or not um, Willa went ahead and headed to Kayshawn and I told her I'll just meet her there but I'm just gonna go see if I can find out any information some awesome sand dunes though those are huge brain engaged think safely so the sign says off highway vehicle use may be hazardous use uh, protective apparel skill level vehicle condition blah 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 rules affect safely right at your own risk so it says it is the US Department of the Interior BLM which is Bureau of Land Management and it's Imperial Sand Dunes Recreational Area it's pretty cool you can see little tiny people right there <laughs> No helmet, no ride. It seems like this is geared towards ATVs and four-wheelers and stuff. Um, that's pretty cool though. There are also pedestrians just walking up the sand dunes and more way over there. I'm gonna see and go into this office right here. It says Buttercup Range Station. And see if they have any information. Aha, Buttercup Ranger Station. Oh good, they're open. Hello. Hi, how are you? So good. Um, I heard something about permits. Um, as long as you stay parked over here, uh huh, you can be more than welcome to take as many pictures as you want over here. And just take a walk and around. Take a I walk saw around. I saw yes. people walking. So. Right, right. Oh, that's all good. Yes. That's what all is good. The, what, what's the permit thing for? The permit is just for pretty much to park in the sand kind of deal. Oh. Like if you want to go riding or oh, I get uh, it. Camping. I get it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, like, and you can camp here too. You can camp here too, and it's uh -huh, um, seven days. Oh wow! And so you just need a permit for that, right? Do you right. Have, what's the information on that? Um, the permits we don't sell like one or you know weekend passes. We only sell them by the week. Right. And so if you sell them, say you're coming from Yuma. Uh huh. I mean, if you buy them, um, coming from Yuma, the Chevron that's on the way out here. Uh huh. You can buy them right there for thirty five, but oh, okay. actually on site, which mm -hmm. is right here with me, is fifty. For seven oh, days. Yes. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and then that's that's for the seven days? Yes. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I can just go and just just stay parked there, Yes, yeah, so you know, I know some people are parked over here, yeah, but I that's kind of that. like more at their own risk kind of deal. Right. They shouldn't be there, but nobody came in here to ask me questions okay. anyways. Okay, and also pets. I have a dog. That's fine, as long as they're on a leash or okay. uh, close to you, make sure, because... Um, also, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep my dog on a leash. Um, and... What about um, like riding a bi like a bicycle? Can I ride a bike through here? Uh, yeah, that's mo you're more than welcome okay. um, to do that as okay. well. Okay, cool, awesome. Thank you so much you're for the welcome. information. Have a good day. You too. So they do actually have a camp host here. That's where they stay. Right across the street, there is the camping on sand, but that does require the permit. And also there's more camping that way. So here's uh, the lay of the land a little bit. It's the Imperial Sand Dunes Recreational Area. Chocolate Mountains back there. Black Mountains. Cargo Muchacho Mountains. Since I'm welcome to stay here for day use and use this place, I'm going to go grab Mumu and put her on a leash and we're going to go walk the sand dunes. Sand Sea. You're standing on North America's largest active erg. An erg describes any large area covered by sand and the imperial sand dunes are the continent's largest one, sometimes referred to as a sand sea. The dunes stretch for more than 40 miles, wow, in band average 5 miles wide, believed to have formed from the windblown sands of ancient Lake Kahuia. The dunes continue to creep 12 inches into the southeast every year. Prevailing northerly winds blow the dunes onward with similar dunes traveling faster than larger ones. A landscape in motion. So this is a favorite location for off-highway vehicles and the dunes boast hills almost 300 feet high with terrain that challenges multiple skill levels and dynamic landscapes that challenge with each passing windstorm. The shifting nature of the sand keeps visitors coming back. Slip face, razorback, and witch's eye are some of the terms used to describe landscape in motion. And there you have it, some off-road vehicles. 
So I had to check again. I guess I missed it, but um, I saw dogs roaming free. I thought she said leash, and I checked the footage, and I also went back in and checked. She said, yes, they need to be on leash or either really close to you. Wow, that's a mean dog. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, you just have to be aware of your dog and keep it close to you. It doesn't necessarily always have to be on leash, so that's awesome. What do you think, Mumu, huh? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Oh. That is some loose sand there. It is definitely beautiful out here, but those are some steep sand dunes. I'm getting ready to go ahead and climb. <laughs> Sandals off. On the other side of 8, there are more sand dunes, so it covers both sides of the highway. That is pretty neat. So it's surprising, but the sand is really cool. Doesn't feel hot at all. Oh my god, that is like the steepest hill ever. Look at that sandbar. This is just so neat. I love this. Ren, you're free! You're free! <laughs> I've actually been to a place with sand dunes. It was called White Sands, but it was nothing like this. This is really awesome. So cool. Look at those people way up there, like little ants. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mumu, come on. Good girl. Look at our shadows, Mumu. <laughs> Wow, the view from up here is amazing. Look at that, isn't that awesome? Just beautiful. Oh, I'm more out <laughs> climbing this hill. Look at the curve of the sand. This is the back side of the hill. It's just beautiful. Oh, the sun's gonna be going down soon. Well, since it was such a struggle to get up here, I'm definitely gonna sit down and enjoy this with Moo Moo. And I was doing a time lapse, so enjoy the time lapse. Maybe I'll see you on the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Oh yeah, they can I can fly drones here. Awesome!